I've bought the Razer Blade 15 couple weeks ago with the RTX 2070 graphics and 256 gigs of storage. The 256 gig model probably no won't enough for most people, especially for gamers. Razer only offers two options for the storage: the 256 or the 512 gigs version. For the 512 gigs one, you will need to spend an extra $200, which I think is a bit too much just to get another 256 gig extra storage. That's why I just bought the 256 gig model and I would do the upgrade myself to save a bit of my money. Hey what's up everybody this is Vincent from TTV and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade my SSD on my Blade 15. Let's get started. Alright first of all you will need to create a recovery drive for your Windows 10. Make sure you have your power cable plug in and you also will need a USB thumb drive. Plug it in into your computers. As you can see, I have a 256 gigs SSD installed into my Blade 15. In your USB thumb drive, make sure you have formatted into FAT32. If not, just right click and format it into FAT32. Make sure you have backup everything in your drive because everything will be deleted during the process. Go to search, type in recovery drive, click on it. and click next alright here is that the drive must be able to hold at least 32 gigs and everything on the drive will be deleted just click next and make sure you have 32 gigs in your drive so he is warning you again, make sure you have backed up everything. Alright, for this process, it might take some time. Uh, just be patient and I will let it sit here and come back when it's done. Alright, so now it's done, it's at the recovery drive is ready. Close the window and eject safely. Now you can shut down your computer. Wait until it's shut down completely. Unplug the power cable and now you're ready to remove the back cover. As you can see there is 10 T5 torque screw holding the back covers so you will need a T5 torque screw driver. Once you remove all the screw, you're ready to open the back cover. So you can see there's two fans, one for the CPU and one for the GPU, two RAM slot, a SSD card slot, and a Wi-Fi card and an 80 watt battery. So this is the part we are going to upgrade, the SSD. So for this part, you will need a Philips head screwdriver to remove the screw which holding the SSD. Slowly slide it out. You can sell this on the second hand market or you can keep it as your spare part for your Blade 15. Let's bring out the new SSD we are going to install into my Blade 15. This is the Sound Brand's Rocket 1TB SSD. It only cost me around $110 and it has a very fast read and write speed as well, which I think is a very good value of money. Let's open it and install into my Blade 15. Alright, so line up, make sure you have slide it in all the way in. Wow. 
once you're done, put back on the screw. And you're all set. And you're now ready to put back the back cover. Make sure you have checked all the corners and edges. Make sure it's in place and you're ready to put on all the screw back on. Once you're done, make sure you plug in your power cable first and then plug in your USB thumb drive which you have created the recovery drive with and put it up your computer. Now it's putting up from the BIOS. Once you see the spinning wheel, which means it's putting up from your recovery drive. Click on troubleshooting, recovery from my drive. And there's two options. In this case, I will click on just remove my file. Sorry about the bad focusing, so nice. Right in here, click on remove. And this process might take some time as well because it's now installing the windows into your new SSD. Just be patient, I will let it sit here and come back when it's done. Alright, once you see the screen, which means you have successfully reinstalled Windows 10 into your new SSD. Just follow the instructions step by step like you would normally do with your new computers and you're good to go. And now you can see I have a 1TB SSD installed into my Blade 15. Alright, so that's it for today's videos. I hope you guys like it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. If you like to see more, subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will catch you guys on the next one.